Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you. Let me tell you something. The word of God is sweet. It is the sweetest thing. Think about it. Now, God already has finished his plans for your life. Not just has he finished, not just that he has finished his plan for you, he has written it down. Praise God. Now, listen. He wrote these things down. And then he, he gives it to angels. See, because angels are the carriers of the script of our life. Now, you have a, an, an angel that is assigned to your life. Do you know that? Oh, yeah. You have an angel that is assigned to your life. And now what's that angel's job? That angel's job is to see to it that your life goes according to the things that have been written about you. You say, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, sure, you, you do. You say, when did that angel come when I got born again? No, 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 sir. The very moment you stepped into this world, that first cry, you cried when you came out of the womb. Your angel was there waiting for you. You know, when you know this, you just realize that why do people suffer? Truly, why do people suffer? I'll tell you the reason. Like Jesus would say, because of unbelief. Now, the angel that God assigns to your life, he carries your script. And his job is to see to it that the things that God has written concerning your life, he brings you to the place of opportunity. He brings you to the place of, of fulfillment. You, see, you understand what I'm saying? Now that's why I say, look, on, on the judgment day, all God is going to do is bring out the things that were written concerning us. And he's going to show it to you. And he's going to show you everything you should have become. And I pray that your life will be, you know, thou, when Jesus says to you, thou good and faithful servant, what's he saying? You have fulfilled everything that was written concerning you. See, now, it's just like David. You know what the scripture says about David? God actually was speaking about David. This is in 2 Kings. God said, David did everything right in the sight of God. Now, now, this is God's testimony about a man. This is not Jesus now we're talking about. This is David, a man who ruled on this earth as a king. And, and God said, David did everything right, except for the matter of Uriah. In other words, it's only one thing that David got wrong in his life. Now, how come David was able to fulfill everything that was written? Now, when God says he did everything right, what was the yardstick? The yardstick of, was the things he wrote about David. Now, what does that tell me? It was written of David that he will defeat Goliath. It was written of David that he will kill the lion and the bear. It was written of him. Now, what happened? When the opportunity came, now I told you yesterday, God assigns an angel with your script. And now the job of that angel is to see to it that everything written about you, the opportunities are given to you. It is now what you do with those opportunities that will tell if you will fulfill God's will for your life or not. But let me tell you this truth. Where you are right now in your life, Oh, oh, I, I wish you would just believe. I remember I said something. I said the problem why people are poor, the problem people are, uh, are suffering is simply because of unbelief. Now, everything God has said concerning you, the opportunity will be given to you. Now, what are you supposed to do? Rise up and take charge of every situation that you find yourself in. The things written concerning you, they are not, remember, Jeremiah tells us, my thoughts concerning you are what? Thoughts of good. See? Now, it means everything God has written concerning you, they are good. Meaning, God didn't write any bad thing. In other words, your life cannot end negatively. See, does that mean no negative situation will show up in my life? Oh, they will sure do. 
for there to be victory, there must be a fight. For there to be victory, for example, it was written that David is going to kill a lion and a bear. Now, what does that mean? A lion and a bear is going to attack him. Are you getting that? It doesn't mean he will go to the zoo and see a lion at his chain and then he use a knife and kill the lion. So, Afufi, no, 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 no. It means a lion will attack him, a bear will attack him. Now, do you know what? If David hadn't risen up to the occasion, it would have killed him. But that was not what was written concerning him. But what happened? See, he didn't rise up for victory. And that's the mentality I want you to have. Rise up in every situation you have found yourself. Rise up and get the victory. Praise God. Don't, don't sit down there and whining. Don't sit down there and say, oh, I, I, I wish this is not happening. No, no, no. Listen, it is happening for your good. Now, what is going to change that thing to good or leave it to be bad is you. But guess what? Which muzzle did David use to kill the lion and the bear? No. See, God is there to help you. The angels of God are there to help you. So what are you supposed to do? Keep your mindset on victory. And as you shout, as you move forward, the angels of God are going to help you. And that victory is sure going to come. Because that angel wants to think good concerning that thing that's written concerning you. Praise God. I've got to stop you. I know sometimes just wish can stretch this time. But you know what? We'll continue tomorrow. Have the best day ever. Bye-bye.